guys, um, we're out here game hunting. We're at a, one of our local Goodwills, and this is our first game hunt since we've been back from Retropalooza. She didn't make it, um, just financial reasons and stuff. So maybe next year, maybe maybe go to Retropalooza three and uh, meet some of the guys. So we're gonna go in here and do a little game hunting and see what we can find. Usually, usually can't find anything, but we, you know, we try to be positive. Hopefully, maybe something in there. Stay tuned. Awesome. And go for it. Yep. We usually don't buy anything red, but I know. I don't look cool. Yeah. yeah, we're about to go into our local game store here and uh, see if they have anything. We did find a couple items at our Goodwill. Um, she found a hoodie, and I found a TMNT uh, Turtles uh, Part Two on tape. And I think I'm going to send that one to Damien. Uh, okay, Chief's friend, if he doesn't have it. So, yeah, stay tuned. Guys, we just stopped at a uh, pawn shop here. I haven't been in here for a while. And I know he had some retro type stuff, and um, never know what he has. So we stopped on in, checked it out. We got uh, 2600 games. Got I'm gonna mess this up. Ad Adamar, Adamar. Hadn't seen this one before. And uh, Tapper, which I don't believe I have. I may have a Tapper game, but I don't know if I have it for the 2600. I think I got maybe on the. Um, 
uh, in television maybe, I don't remember. And then my daughter found a sign. Here's your sign, John Deere sign, brand new. And then she found this here for me, brand new sign. I know some of you are gonna hate it, but I don't care. I know their their season's sucking right now, really bad, but I'm still a fan. You know, I'm not one of the guys that jump off the bandwagon for my team, come to somebody else, because I'm maize and blue all the way, baby. So stay tuned, we're gonna maybe go hit another store, maybe a thrift store or something. So yeah, thanks for watching. We're about to go into another thrift store that we've uh, been to. We've been coming here for a few years. Uh, when she first started, I guess, awesome deals. Awesome steel. I mean, talking like a Super Nintendo, just the uh, system itself for like a buck. But um, she's caught on, so you know, pay a little bit more. But never know what we find in here. It's a uh, thrift store slash uh, antique type place where they sell. You know, they have booths and things like that. I know. Uh, Jay don't really like places like this, but this isn't like some of the mall style. It's more more of a thrift store. So stay tuned. Look what I just found. I'm gonna be like Jay now. The words about like that, don't it? <laughs> it's about as dirty as his too. We'll put that back. Remember, well, of course you wouldn't remember that. I remember this. I was a kid. Should I show the year? Kind of remember the... Yeah, they used to look like that, the um, Burger King. Yeah. Their uh, signs used to look like that outside the road. But yeah, I, re I never had one, but I remember it. I had a Mc Ronald McDonald. I've been looking for this one. Oh, that's the double seven you were in? Yep. Tomb Raider on PlayStation. I have that. found in a thrift store I used to play this back in the day wasn't my favorite but it was fun 
I'm going to ask him, just curiosity, how much fits for sale. There's artwork on the side of it. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Bust my butt in here. Plug and play. DJ. Not much video game wise. Guitar clock. Neon. For $25. Seen a GameCube and a PlayStation One in a box. I didn't see anything else went with it though. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. This is Game Seekers here, and we're doing the pickups video today. Um, we picked up a few games a while back, and I didn't do a video on it because I didn't have a whole lot. And coming back from Retro Palooza, uh, me and my daughter were excited about going to do some game chasing. And again, we didn't pick up a whole lot, so I'm putting it all together to make it a little bit more. So from a few weeks ago, uh, some game chasing, and I don't believe I have any of this on film. I believe I got these at a thrift store. I got Star Wars Demolition on PlayStation 1, complete, complete in box. Got that zapper on the GameCube. It is complete, but the box is not original. I have to find a game GameCube box to put that in. Zapper, one wicked cricket. On PlayStation 1 again, I got the long box. Uh, ESPN 2 Extreme Games. Don't find too many of these and lid on it's broken but like I said you don't find too many of them especially the plastic case so yeah I have to find something else to sports another sports game or something put that together I'm just trying to pick up long boxes I don't pick up all of them but I pick up the try to pick well I've never seen that one so I picked that one up and the uh, game day I don't remember I do have this one right here so this one here probably up for a trade it doesn't have the foam insert in it but it does have a code and a phone number <laughs> from Corey so yeah I picked that up I think I picked a dollar picked that up for a dollar and that was a couple weeks ago and the retro palooza I picked up a game from my buddy Scott at video game sellers and once I went through the game again, I got excited. I was, I was there talking with him and stuff. And while I was shooting my Retro Palooza video, I went and I opened this up again and looked. And I looked on the back. It's a three-disc game. It's missing the third disc. So if anybody can help me out, uh, because I haven't seen this game before, Shadow Madness on the PlayStation 1. If you have a disc 3... Just laying around an extra one, or you're missing one and, and two. Uh, maybe we can do it some kind of trade. I got plenty of stuff to trade for a disc. Uh, I know I have some other PlayStation 1 games, maybe that you may be interested in. So comment, message me to let me know, please. So I can play, I can, I can start the game, but I won't be able to finish it. So after Retro Palooza, we came, me and my daughter went and did a little shopping, and we hit some thrift stores, pawn shops, and game stores. So one thing that I found at a thrift store was a Pokemon black and white version walkthrough. Picked that up for a buck. And you know, it's it's been used, but hey, you know, I'm not a Pokemon fan really much. I don't play Pokemon. I'm not really into it, but for that, it's definitely good good trade. Good trade stuff at a Goodwill. I found another copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 on VHS. I just gave one of these away to OK Chief this past weekend, and Damien went to grab it. That's why I went and bought it, but 
when I brought it home, my wife seen it. She goes, we're keeping that copy. So I'm sorry, Damien. You're not getting that copy. Got to find another one. And it's pretty good, pretty good tape on there too. It looks, it's pretty clean, pretty clean tape on there. And it is the correct movie. Let me get, get screwed on that one. And what my daughter found while she was looking through clothes at the Goodwill, she found a Nintendo hoodie. And the tag on it was red, and it was uh, the color for the day was red. So she paid three bucks. I paid three bucks for this. So got that. We can use that for go game chasing since the weather would be getting cooler. Went to a pawn shop, and I know he has some retro stuff in there. It's a hit and miss type thing. It's usually a miss than a hit, but I always try to stay positive when I'm game hunting. Try not to get down and out. And I did buy some games from him. Got some 2600 games. Uh, I'm Amador, Amador, Amador for the 2600. Got that. And Tapper, which I think, yeah, I do have a copy for the, um, I think that's for the ColecoVision. I believe that's what that one's for. And I don't have, I got it now for the 2600. Uh, local game store, I picked up Star Wars Shadow of the Empire on the N64. And all the games that I sold uh, this weekend, I had a box of N64 games I was selling at the uh, Retro Palooza after I gave a bunch of other stuff away. Uh, didn't have that game in it. And then for the NES, these games here for me, uh, Sky, Sky Shark, I didn't have this one. And the asking price on that was pretty freaking low, really, for a game store. I was surprised, and the labels on it, you know, it's okay. It's not, it's there. It's not all beat up. But yeah, um, I'm getting closer to, I think, 230 games now with this one and the other one I just got for uh, Solomon's Key. I got from Boogie, or got Boogie to sign. And then at, where did, oh, another uh, thrift store, a new thrift store that just opened up. They had some games in there, and uh, we walking around, and I asked them, I took some games up, I had a couple other ones with me, and PlayStation 1 games, and they wanted $5 a piece for them, and I was, and they were looking at a computer, or they had looked at the computer or something, and they just did a, a one price for, you know, all the games, no matter what game it is, it's going to be $5, well those wasn't, those games wasn't worth $5, and then on the Xbox games they wanted $7, well I looked on there and this game wasn't worth $7. So he came back and he told me three dollars on this one here. So I got I've been looking for this one on the Xbox because uh, Metal Jesus had said this is a hidden gem type game. So I did find it uh, a couple months ago on the PlayStation 2, but I I like the Xbox. Um, for one, most of the most of my Xbox games will play on my 360. But uh, yeah, I found it complete in box. It's pretty nice, minty looking. And those are my pickups. I think that's it. That's all I got, guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thumbs up and make a comment, please. We'll see you later. Adios amigos. Don't know why I said that. I'm not Spanish at all.